In this video we are continuing on with some personal budget related questions and we have been given a small budget and a net weekly income and we're going to ask answer a few questions in relation to Nathan's budget. So Nathan has a net weekly income, so let's underline that, weekly income of $1700. This table here shows his weekly expenses. Okay, so we have all his weekly expenses and we have his income. What is Nathan's total weekly expenses? Well, that's just going to be the sum of all of these values here. So if we add these all up, we're going to get total weekly expense. What's this going to add up to? Well, that equals 450 plus 250 is 700, plus 300 is 1,000, 1,200 dollars. This is going to equal 1,200 dollars. How much can Nathan save each week? Well, let's write potential savings equals his weekly income, 1,700 dollars minus 1,200 dollars. $500. So Nathan has the potential to save $500 every single week uh, after he's paid all of his average, um, all of his expenses that fall into these categories. What percentage of his income is paid in car expenses? Okay, so percentage income car expense well that's going to be equal to the proportion of the car expenses um, the proportion of his car expenses to his net weekly income so that's going to be equal to 300 divided by $1,700 and all of this is going to be multiplied by 100 to convert to a percentage so what do we get? 300 divided by seventeen hundred dollars is going to be equal to 0.176 but if you multiply this by a hundred we get the answer as a percentage and we get seventeen point six five percent so he spends nearly a fifth of his money on car expenses every single week um, that's quite a lot. If your car expenses are nearly as much as your weekly rent, um, that's that's quite expensive. So D. Nathan is planning an overseas trip ho um, holiday for ten thousand dollars. How many weeks does he need to save? Well, we know that he has the potential to save five hundred dollars every single week. So we can write uh, weeks saving is going to be equal to well, the total amount ten thousand dollars divided by five hundred dollars per week which is going to be equal to ten thousand divided by five hundred twenty weeks It's going to take him 20 weeks to save up enough money to go on this $10,000 holiday. So yeah, that's nearly half a year, that's quite a long amount of time to save up for that. And obviously the benefit of doing a quick check of your major expenses like this is you can see, well maybe if I brought down this car expenses to something more reasonable, or maybe if I used public transport, or maybe if I did something like that, I could achieve this goal of saving for $10,000 for a holiday much sooner. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.